Hi, I'm Congressman Don Bacon from Nebraska's 2nd District. Whether you're marching in the streets or participating virtually, I want to thank you for standing up for life and having the unwavering passion to end abortion. Our Declaration of Independence clearly states that every American has the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This includes the born and the unborn. We must remember that life begins at conception. This is not just a religious belief, but a scientific fact. And I choose to follow the science and my faith. During the first few weeks of development, the sex, heart, brain, eyes, arms, and legs are developed. The preborn baby already has its own DNA, separate from its mother's. The preborn are the most vulnerable of human beings and are voiceless. We are their voice and defense. How can we be pro-woman but advocate for dangerous medical procedures like abortion? Abortions may be illegal, but they're not safe. First, second and third trimester abortions can result in multiple complications and have a negative and emotional impact on the mother. I've heard the stories from many and have seen firsthand the strong emotional pain, but thankfully, we do have a God who forgives and is full of grace. Our pro-life message must also reflect God's love and grace. But we are called to action. Just because slavery was legal, it was not moral. And just because it was illegal for women to, to vote, it wasn't moral. And just because Jim Crow's separate but equal uh, was legal, it wasn't moral. And just because Roe v. Wade provides the right to end another life, it doesn't make it moral. Laws can always change, but the sanctity of every individual's life is timeless and unchangeable. Yes, the science of the preborn calls us to action, and our humanity demands it. But also, my faith in God motivates me to give my all for this cause. We are made in God's image, and that gives meaning to the sanctity of human life. King David tells us we are fearfully and wonderfully made. And the words of Jeremiah remind us that God has a plan for all of us before we're even born. Since I was elected in 2016, I have co-sponsored legislation that declares the right to life is guaranteed in the Constitution for all human beings. Regardless of their stage of life, I support preventing taxpayers from, from funding abortions, protecting your taxpayer money. I support prohibiting abortions on babies who can feel pain at 20 weeks and requiring doctors to perform life-saving medical care to babies who survive failed abortions. These bills include the Life and Conception Act, the No Taxpayer Funding for Abortion Act, and the Born Alive Abortion Survivor Protection Act. We are called to protect and defend all human life, no matter their age, race, gender, or disability. And it's my hope that we restore our humanity by eventually winning this war against abortion once and for all. Life is precious and it must always be protected. I pray that our country ends this immoral act and chooses life. May God bless you all and thank you.